As usual, it's been about a month since my last Pistols Only video. We're back again. This time, I sort of didn't really have a big plan for this video, but I just figured I might as well do a Pistols Only video now because it has been a month. And also, Natlang comes out in a couple days, and I know there's no chance that I'll be doing a Pistols Only video then because I'll be focusing on Natlan on all of my accounts. So, we're doing a Pistols Only video now because I want to and it's been ages since I've done one. Also, I've been farming stuff, so we do have upgrades for these. I now have 30 of these Bellbone thingies. Bellborn, whatever they're called. So, we have plenty of them to get talents and stuff up. So, today, I'm not touching these two. I might mess around right at the end. But priority today is Chisha because one very specific thing. I want to make Chisha do more damage than certain five stars. Like I want to make her an insane damage dealer. She already is, but we could improve on the artifact, not artifact, echoes. Because, you know, they're not bad, but there are some like that could be double crit. We could have higher crits on things. They actually are pretty decent. But there are a couple upgrades I'd like to make. Also, I don't know if running double fusion would be better. We're going to spend a bunch of our wave plates, farm some echoes for her. I was about to say relics. That is, I haven't played Star Rail in like months. I stopped playing it. How, how to get that confused? Okay. Okay, well, let's get into this. We need all of these. We're probably going to need even more, but we need as much of these as we can get. So... Chisha, let's go all the way. Max out these ones first. Because we only have to do them once. So now that is every single one of these extra talent ones. The stat bonus ones. As well as the, this ones. All of them done. Now we do these. We can only get them up to 8. Which is a bit annoying. But we can get all of them up to 8. Now we need to have the next level for Chisha, which is running her at level 90. Which, if I'm being honest, I think we could do that. We need to reach Union level 60 to ascend the world. We are currently at Union level 58. Oh yeah, and another reason why we're doing this as well is because I forgot we can retry this because we can just remove what we've currently done and retry it. So... First things first, we go to, where is it? Here. We're going to go fight the tacit discord thingamajigs and hopefully get some crazy good pieces for Chisha, max out her damage and have her hitting crazy, crazy big numbers. Obviously, it would be nice if we could, you know, get all the way up to 60, like... Uh, union level 60, but I don't think that's going to be possible. At least not with a bunch of farming and stuff. I could give it a shot. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do some off-camera quests like completion. Just go run a ton of quests and see what we can do there. Okay, so I think best bet is going to be running her double fusion. Which is going to be fun because that means I've got to get double fusion, which is already hard to get on its own. But... I think that will be, that was the wrong rotation, that will be a better bet is to run double fusion and then just try to run as much attack as we can. Obviously we'll run the one cost will be attack and try to get as much attack as we can on those uh, three cost ones. We are currently sitting at 77 to 212 with 1900 attack. This piece is okay. It could be better, but it's got Resonance Liberation, Heavy Attack, Resonance Skill, 13.8 crit damage with 22 crit rate. It'll work. Plus, I don't want to go farm the Inferno Rider a whole ton. So, we are looking for three cost pieces and we're looking for Fusion Damage. Resonance Liberation Attack. I am actually going to roll that one up to 25 just because it does look kind of nice. If it hits crit rate, please hit crit rate. Ooh. That's a nice looking piece. We like that. Okay. That is going to go over here. That's going to be our current uh, best piece. We'll see if I get anything better. These ones up here are our best fusion pieces. So this one here, you've got Liberation, 6.3 crit rate, 
and 13.8 crit damage. This one's very, very nice. 15 crit damage, 7.5 crit rate, attack percent, heavy attack. That's a very, very nice piece there. So that one's probably going to stay on her. Now we're just looking here. We have 17 crit rate. That one, I mean, 17 crit damage. There's no chance for crit run that, so I'm probably not going to keep that. This one, again, isn't looking too great. No crit damage in that one. Leaves us with this one, which is higher crit damage. So if it rolls crit rate, it could be okay. And this one is not very good. So let's just try this. If it rolls crit rate, then it will be better as long as it rolls a decent amount of crit rate. Can we see some crit rate? We see Resonance Liberation. That's not what we want. So this piece is going to be our current best. Now down to the one cost pieces. This piece is actually really, really nice. Heavy attack has got plenty of crit on it. So I'll probably not mess around with that one right now. Now that I mentioned that, that piece is better. These one costs are actually pretty good. But let's just see what we have. These pieces we have here are our two best. That now puts our Chisha at less attack, which isn't great. However, it puts her at 78 to 27, which is much higher. Plus, she is running double fusion. So, in theory, we should be doing more damage. Seeing as I am here, I might as well just test out on these enemies. Let's see what we are doing. Normal attacks. Hitting about 2k each. With the big one hitting 9k. Yeah, 1900. Yeah, 2.6. 13k on the... Whatever that dodge one is. Okay. Now, this. Doing hits of like 800, 900. With the big one of... I didn't see that. Okay, what does this big number do? There was a 26k there for that big number. That just leaves her burst. Her resonance liberation. Doing... I didn't, I didn't see any of those numbers, but there was a lot of numbers there. Okay, well, she seems to be doing pretty good damage now. There's definitely an increase. I mean, I'd definitely say she's probably doing close to more damage than some 5 stars, which is the goal. She was doing like 20s, 30ks, maybe uh, there was like doing like 3k per normal attack. So I'd say she's doing pretty close to more damage than some 5 stars. Now we... I'm gonna jump into here. We're gonna reset this all because we need all of these. So we're just going to use Mortify and Alto here in this team. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but they should be able to do enough to get us through. And then Chisha is gonna solo the other half. Now this is going to be really fun because we are going to shred through this. Also, did that just do 15k? I think, yeah, I think it's a did 15k. I don't know why, but I thought it did 150k, and then I realized that's uh, not correct. There is no way it did 150k. And yeah, we've already gone to the last one. That was incredibly easy. Let's see how long this takes. Not a super fun boss, but it should be fine. Mm, okay, hold up. Let me, let me try that again. This is one thing I kind of forgot that we had to deal with, is... Uh, we don't have any form of shielding or healing for solo. So I have to actually remember to dodge. And now... Oh god, that did a lot of damage. Why did that do so much damage? Whoa, okay, this is... Harder than I initially expected. Whoa, okay, those things... I have to watch out for them because those things do all of our damage. All, all of our damage. Those things do all of our health. They just completely just delete it. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked. However, done. Hazard zone is unlocked. We can grab more 300 more Astrite. Plus these things which you can use in the shop. This one is level 100 enemy, so I'm not doing that. This is level 70 up to 90 enemies. So this is... I'm assuming your equivalent of like Spiral Abysses, like 8 to 9 or 8 to 12. I'm assuming we're also going to have the same problem of we 
only can, yeah, we aren't going to be able to dabble into this because we don't have enough characters and I kind of need to run Chisha and Mortify together because otherwise I die. However, there we go. That's that cleared. That's what I wanted. I just realized this first constellation makes all of her big hits from this skill. It makes all of these boom boom hits always crit. And uh, if we have a look at the current banners, we would see that Chisha's on the banner. Do we risk it? Before we risk it, we have 10, 11 pulls on the weapon banner. So maybe we can grab a Chisha, uh, not constellation, a uh, wave plate band, whichever wave band from here. We get Alto. Okay, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. That's not good. Let's risk it for the biscuit. C1 Chisha. No five star. Perfect. Please give us Chisha. That's not Chisha. And four star. There we go. Please be Chisha. That's not Chisha. I'm not going any further because now it's like 40 pity and I don't want to don't want to risk it now. I risk I've risked Why is that so hard to say? I've risked it enough. I'm not going for C1 Chisha because um, I don't want to get a five star. I think what I'm going to do is go do some quests and try to get up to Union rank 60. So then we can get Chisha and her weapon up to 90 and her talents, not talents, fortes up even further. So I'm going to do these ones. Let's do Ling Yang's one first because this is one that I've already done. I know how long it takes. I've been doing something different with the way I play these games, you know, set the game up for when I record. It's like in Genshin, I don't have any background music on, like I don't have any of the game audio on because it's too loud and that's all you hear. Well, whenever I'm playing Wuthering Waves, it is just quiet enough where I can have it sort of quietly in the background. Like if you go to my settings, my music volume is at 50 and I have tested this as long as I put music over the top, which I normally do anyway. You can't actually hear the in-game music, which means that I can sort of pick the right music for what I want. And also, I can listen to the actual in-game music while I'm playing, which is nice because I like to hear the music. Although, to be fair, it'd probably be much easier if I just played it with the in-game music. Just sometimes it can it's not very fluid. It can be, you know, swapping between music too quickly, which isn't as nice for videos. This cutscene, like this bit here, gives off Razor vibes just because he's running like on all fours and being overall razor like also that looks sick and boom there we go ling yang's story quest is done that brings us not much way uh i guess a little bit further into union level 59 so i think what my plan of action is is i am going to go do a bunch more quests i probably will do them off camera we'll see and that'll probably happen, who knows, tomorrow, whatever. I might finish it tonight. We'll see. Most likely will be tomorrow. So I'll go finish all them up. Hopefully we can get then up to 60 because tomorrow we'll also have daily commissions and they give you a good chunk of XP. So I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, so it is the next day now. I have done daily commissions and I've done a couple quests. I've done Yin Lin's and Jian's Jian's uh, story quests because I've done both of them on my main account. And I knew you could do them without having to use the character in it. So I could use my own characters. So they were really easy. And then I did two of the exploration quests. I did this one, whatever, whatever this one's called, the one that changes this area. We deliver thingy yeah this quest here so now i don't have the annoying flame stuff here and then i also did this one over here the whining axes or whatever it's called mine one yes i've done this quest as well and you can see now we are a decent way into 59 we just need i think about one and a half or so more of the story quests yeah so i think what i'm going to do is do a quest whatever her name is zen 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 she zen yeah her and do her quest and then i think i'd only need like one thousand more so i'll probably do where is it this one maybe let's get stuck into it let's do this quest here 
normally these ones aren't too long, especially if you're just skipping all the dialogue. So this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And fingers crossed, this is the important bit. We can use our own characters, because otherwise, small problem. Uh, okay, I was way off. Her name's Jirja. I was incredibly off. I just had to click through that first one to actually figure out her name. Because, yeah, I was way off. It's Jirja, or a, something of that rough pronunciation. I'm bad with names. Well, this is a good sign when they give you the trail character, and also my own characters, that generally means that I'm not going to have to do any of the rest of the quest with just the trial character and I can use my own characters for the whole quest. What? We are now a... a, uh, exile? Okay. Wasn't expecting this. It is very weird to play as an NPC or a character that you normally fight. It is very odd to play as someone like this because they have a very different, like, outfit style and everything to your normal, like, playable characters. So it is very weird to play or, you know, use them in a quest thing. It's very, very odd. But, I mean, it's cool, I guess. Okay, good. Another fight where we can use our own characters. So it seems that my prediction of if you get to use your own characters once... You're going to be able to use your own characters the whole time is looking to be pretty true which is nice i have very little idea of what's going on with this story because i haven't done my main account and obviously i'm not paying attention to this i'm just skipping through everything but just from the cutscenes alone it seems like a pretty cool story probably would be good if i knew the context behind everything but you know it's still pretty cool i do actually really like jusha's you know character she's a very I guess sweet is probably a good way to put it kind of character. She, I do like her character, although obviously can't pull for her in this account. And as I said numerous times, still waiting for Camellia. So not pulling for anyone until I get her. I am just a dedicated Camellia fan and I'm not pulling for anyone until I get her, which is going to be at the bare minimum 1.4 at the earliest. That same applies for a new pistol user. Earliest is 1.4. I doubt that the shorekeeper or the other one is going to be a pistol user could be but i doubt it and there we go 20 minutes in we're done with jujo's quest very very nice that puts us we're 1000 xp away so that means i just have to do one more quest that's worth at least 1000 so i think this will be our best bet i don't know what it is but I'm going to hope that I've already started it. So then I have less of it to do. Tree. Whoa. Why did all of these world quests end in a tree or some form of tree-shaped thing growing? Well, there we go. Boom. Union level 60. Soul 3 Ascension. Let's go. Let's get Shisha and the other two. Because I reckon I could probably do that up to 90 oh yes and I, I forgot about this i got a pull from somewhere don't ask me where i got a pull from but um i should have checked pity before i did said pull because uh we now have another one of these yeah i probably should have checked the pity of the weapon banner because we were at like 75 before i did my pull but uh yeah now we have a five star pistol for all three of the characters okay let's try this out what, uh, what level are we looking at 63 yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Just got to remember that they are level 63 and also Cheshire is almost dead. So Cheshire is most likely going to die unless we get her burst up or I remember to dodge. Alto is actually really useful when it like for these because we obviously don't have a really good healer. Alto is our only healer. His skill is actually really nice because that acts as like a dummy thing. I don't know what it's called. There we go. Boom. But it like attracts the enemies to this so I can actually you know heal up a little bit without dying and the enemies aren't attacking me they're attacking that thing which is actually really really useful so whenever i switch to alto i always do his skill then his echo and then switch back to chisha because i normally switch to him only because chisha needs healing okay now that we have that done did that give us any pulls it didn't i thought it would have given us a standard pull oh well what we do have now is characters that can be leveled up why can't we do more to fee? these okay i'll deal with that later Okay, now that's all done, which means, boom, Chisha can go up to 90. Chisha is maxed out. 
all the way at level 90. She cannot go any further. Now to her weapon. Boom. There we go. Maxed out that now. Boom. Weapon is maxed out. She now has 24.3% crit rate and 587 flat attack on that. Okay, so if we do swap her to this piece, this crit damage with a little bit of crit rate, we have basically the same amount of attack now sitting at 65 257 which it would be nice if we could have a little bit more crit rate on that that would be preferable let's have a look at these let's get everything up to nine we can't quite we are missing more of these could we go to 10 i th think yeah well we should if we can get some more of these we should be able to go 10 which would be perfect if we could max everything out now let's actually have a look at alto because we can we can get him up to 90 as well boom there we go alto is now maxed out i'm not going to bother with doing any of his things because you know cheshire is more important resonance liberation that does the biggest damage we are now out of most things and whoa okay five pity okay then i'll take that Jeez. okay was not expecting that shisha you're getting an upgrade boom we're ranking this up there we go now shisha is even more powerful and with that we can get one more thing up i'm going to do her skill then we will i am going to try to get all of these up because i reckon we could get pretty close that now should be enough to get normal attack Boom, up to 10. Now we're just missing these. Boom, Forte Circuit, 10, and this, 10. There we go. That is Chisha, entirely maxed out. She cannot go physically any further than this, apart from Echoes. She is level 90. Her weapon is level 90. She is running pretty decent Echoes. They're not the worst. They could definitely be a little bit better but they are pretty good. I mean, like some of them are like perfect pieces, so I'll definitely take that. She is currently sitting at, what are these things called? They're called wave bands, so I don't know what you call, call it, but she's currently sitting at zero of these. I would like if I could get this first one, but I'm not doing any more pulls on the current banner because I don't want to risk it. And then her fortes are maxed out. These ones are all 10, which are, you know, the ones we can actually level up. And then we've unlocked everything else. So with that, she's sitting at 1855 attack with 116 ER, 65 to 257 crit damage, 34.5 heavy attack, 7.9 basic, 25 resonance liberation, no resonance skill damage, and 82% fusion damage bonus. So now with that, Chisha is entirely maxed out, which means... Let me go heal up first. Let's go test out her damage. Skill damage. Hits of two. That did 13k on the heavy. But we're hitting around. That's at three. Three. 1k. 4k. Yeah, okay. Sort of, I think, one to 4k around is what we're hitting. The... With the dodge attack doing 19. Let me see if I can get another one in. There, yeah, 19. Uh, Echo does 13, 600, and that was a 600 as well. No, 6k. Outro skill does 37, I think I saw. And intro does, you know, hits of 1k about. Her just hits of her skill to around 1,000 each with the heavy hit doing... I didn't see that. The heavy hit doing... I think it did around 12k. And her resonance liberation... Eight, 80k? Excuse me, what? So uh, I'd say my Chisha is definitely pretty well up there with being pretty better than five stars. Where'd she go? There we go. Hello. So uh, yeah, that that's pretty cool. Oh my god, we're doing so much damage. That is so nice. Now I'm kind of required to actually do this to my main account, Chisha, because she does nowhere near as much damage. She is not great. I'm going to leave it off there because we do big, big damage now. And... Chisha is crazy. She does 80k. 
I'm pretty sure that was an 80k. It could have been an 8k, but I almost guarantee it was an 80k. So I think I'm going to leave it off there. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like some content, do consider subscribing. There will probably not be another pistols only video for a good while because of Natlan. But if there is another one soon, it'll... I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Maybe I'll try to do the same thing that I've done with Cheshire with Mortify and Alto. And I'll fully, fully max everyone out because we can do that now. If I can max out every pistol user we have, which is these three, before the next one comes out, that would be very, very nice. And I could focus on them. But until then... I am leaving off here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.